Hello, 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 everybody. Pastor McKenzie Kambizi on Progress on Purpose. I just want you to understand today I do have a word for you. I want to give you an encouragement to my tribe, my clan, those of you who come on this platform and journey with me and grow with me into the greatness and the things that God wants to do through our lives. As we push the kingdom, we thank God that we're in the land of the living. We thank God that we have the opportunity to make a difference. And we are grateful that we, whilst all things may not be what we want them to be, we are blessed of the Lord to be counted in the army of the Lord. I have a word for you today as you progress on purpose. Pastor Mackenzie Kambizi, coming your way. Habakkuk, the book of Habakkuk. Some call it Habakkuk, some call it Habakkuk. And others, you know, uh, chapter one and verse five, Habakkuk or Abaka, whichever way you love it. I love the book. It's an amazing book. In chapter one and verse five, I'm going to share with you a secret that I have. This is the verse that keeps me going. This is my verse. This is uh, the verse that inspires Pastor Kandizi. Habakkuk one verse five It's for you as you progress on purpose. And it reads this way. Look among the nations and watch. In other words, go global, go international, look among the nations and watch and be utterly astounded or utterly amazed. Listen to this, for I will work a work in your days, which you would not believe though it were told you. This is my favorite verse. This is what wakes me up in the morning. This is what inspires me to do what I do for the Lord. Habakkuk 1.5, as you progress on purpose, it reads this way, look among the nations and be uh, and watch and be utterly astounded, be utterly amazed, for I will work a work in your days, not after you are dead, but God says, I will work a work in your days, which you would not believe even if you were told. I wanted to understand this child of God. There's more to you, Brother Douglas. There's more to you, Sister Melody. You need to understand God is saying, I want to surprise you. God is saying, I want to do more. I want to do a work in your in your days, whilst you are alive, God wants to do great and amazing things. I do have this verse on the wall of my, my office here, beautiful office. I have it right there. I look at it every day. This is the verse that literally is the fuel to the craziness called Pastor Candice as I push the kingdom of God. God says, what I want to do in your life is not local. I want to do something global. Look among the nations. This is what God is saying, not among your friends, not among your tribe, not among your nationals, but God is saying, I am looking at nations. You are a mighty weapon in the mighty hand of God. God wants to have a global movement through his God moments with you. And God is saying, I am going to work a work in your days, which you would not believe even if you were told. In other words, if everything that's happening in your life is understandable to you, the Lord is saying, I'm about, I want to do more, man. That will amaze you, freak you out, because I am this great God who believes in what I've put in you. Keep hoping, keep progressing on purpose. You better not look at the negatives and quit and think that life is over. Listen to me. Delay is not denial. Come on, look at me. You need to understand simply because the last chapter of your life was horrible. You better trust the author with the next chapter of your life. God wants to do more in your days which you would not believe even if you were told. There's more to you. Don't give up on God. Above everything else, don't give up on you because God wants to do more in your days which you would not believe even if you were told. God is more for you. Don't quit. Don't die yet. <laughs> yeah, you may be disappointed sometimes, but keep on ticking. God wants to do this work. Paul says in Philippians 1, 6, he who began this good work. You need to understand, you didn't pick yourself. We talked about it. Flowers don't pick themselves. Flowers don't pick themselves. God chose you. And God is saying in the book of Abaka 1, 5, look at the nations and watch. He says, be utterly amazed 
for I will work a work in your days. Come on, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's what I pray for every morning, to see the hand of God in my life. God says, I'll work a work in your days, which you would not believe. Though it were told. In other words, God is saying, even if somebody had told you're going to be what God wants to do in your life, you would call them a liar. And that's what God wants to do. So, Brother Rupert, I see you over there. Habakkuk 1, 5. Look at the nations and watch. And be utterly astounded. For I will work a work in your days, which you would not believe, though it were told you God has more for you. That's the story of the Bible. Every person in the book became what they would have never believed if they were told. Rahab would have never thought that she would rise from being a holler to being the great grandma of Jesus the Christ. Ruth would have never believed that after losing her sweetheart and after having a grave in her past, she was destined to meet Boaz and become the very, the very mother and get into the lineage grandmother of David you need to understand wherever God, the thief on the cross never believed that after hanging on the cross he would receive the amazing promise from the dying savior on the cross Paul Saul never thought that you would become the author of the 13 14 books of the New Testament that's what God wants to do he wants to do a work in your days that you would not believe even if you don't give up on you are you listening to me progress on purpose you may have to cry sometimes you may have to cover your head sometimes you may have to stay in a dark room sometimes but don't give up on you because God see has got to work to do <laughs> progress on purpose love you all you're my tribe i appreciate you just had my birthday this month uh i'm at a stage in my life now that i'm not trying to prove anything i'm just trying to improve everything are you ready for me write that down i'm not i'm not trying to prove anything i'm at a stage in my life now where i'm trying to improve everything god has a work to do if god did great with Moses when he was 80, if God did great with Abraham and Sarah when they were almost a hundred, if God did something with Elizabeth and Zachariah when they were old and they had no baby, if God did something with a teenage girl called Mary, come on, let me tell you something, you are not done yet. God wants to do great with you. Child of God, keep on ticking. Believe in God and believe also in yourself because God is going to use you. Progress on purpose. Love you so much. I'm here at the Fondren SDA Church here in Houston. If you are here and if you fly in America, those of you who will be coming to America, make this church your spot. Come stop by here. We are growing together. It's a center of influence. It's a center of empowerment because it's time to do it. We want Jesus to come and we want to do our part to hasten his coming. Enjoy your day. Pick yourself up. Keep on moving. Keep on thriving. Progress on purpose. God says in Abaka 1.5, Look at the nations and watch. Be utterly astounded. For I will work a work in your days. I'm talking about you. You, 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 you. God is saying, I'm going to do something in your days. You, before you die. God says, I'll do a work which you would not believe even if you were told. You better keep on taking it. All right, pray for you. Father, we pray that this promise of Habakkuk, Habakkuk 1 verse 5, becomes a reality on my tribe and my clan. Those who feed off this platform, please work the work in our lives. Please restore the joy in our lives. Please deepen the hope in our lives. Please enlarge the trust in you in our lives. We, 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 want, we want to do exploits for you, Master. Have your own way. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Love you all. Keep ticking. All right? Progress on purpose. <laughs>